and I work as a clinical pharmacist at the University of Alabama at Birmingham Hospital, UAB Hospital. My current area of work is in the Women and Infant Center, where we service women with gynecological cancers, high-risk obstetrics, women who are in labor, postpartum patients, and the babies in the neonatal intensive care unit. As a result, I see how women and neonates are affected in childbirth by certain health conditions. So today I wanted to briefly speak about women's health and self-care. After becoming a mother, I experienced firsthand how quickly things change and how priorities in life shift. I also see the busyness of everyday life that can cause women to put healthy living on the back burner. As women, we naturally take care of others, which can include parents, grandparents, husbands, friends, children, and others. As a result, we tend to put ourselves last and neglect our own health care and self-care needs. So today, I will briefly give recommendations of the things we as women can do for ourselves and our families. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20 say, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For we are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So number one, get moving. Try to get 30 minutes of movement most days of the week. This can include jogging, walking, dancing, swimming, water aerobics, and strength building. Number two, eat a balanced diet. Benefits of eating a balanced diet include weight loss, maintenance, and overall health. Healthy foods can include fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, fresh fish, lean cuts of meat and poultry, fiber-rich foods such as beans and leafy greens, healthy fats such as nuts, seeds, olive oil, low-fat dairy. Avoid processed food. Number three, Visit your doctors regularly and take medications as prescribed. Your doctors can include your OBGYN, dermatologist, your dentist, nutritionist, and therapist. Number four, protect your mental, spiritual, and emotional health and reduce stress. Excessive stress can lead to health issues such as high blood pressure, upset stomach, or gastrointestinal issues, such as ulcers, abdominal weight gain, sleeping difficulties, or relationship conflicts. Ways to manage stress include prayer, therapy, meditation, and exercise. Number five, watch what you put in your body. Avoid putting harmful substances in your body such as tobacco, marijuana, or alcohol. Number six, prioritize sleep. Many women do not get enough sleep. If you're not getting good, healthy sleep, you're not energized to take care of others, let alone yourself. Seven to nine hours of sleep is recommended. Number seven, learn to say no. Pick the priorities that are the most important. It's okay not to do everything that is asked of you or that is thrown at you. Number eight, in all things, acknowledge and consult with God. These are my recommendations for women's health. Thank you.